After playing a key role in Sheffield United's promotion to the Premier League, John Egan is relishing life in the top flight. The Irishman's family boasts a fine sporting heritage, which could have led the defender down a different path. Growing up, the focal point in my house was Gaelic football. It's the bedrock of every county, every community, you know, the, the Gaelic football team, the hurling team. Obviously, them two were probably the two main sports in my house growing up. And I picked up football um, when I was about six or seven. And uh, I basically played those, those sports up until I made a decision to to pursue football and move to England when I was 16. People back home are very passionate and it's it's totally volunteer-led and it's totally all the players are, you know, they're, they're not getting paid, they're all amateurs and they're putting in unbelievable hours um, into playing and then you've all the, the chair people who run the clubs and, you know, make sure from the age of five there's teams and there's training every week for, uh, for kids right up to you know, first teams and it's, it's amazing really that even at the top level it is still amateur because the amount of work and the amount of training that goes into it um, is incredible and you know some some of those lads uh, you know they don't really don't really have a life for, for most of the year. My father played for Kerry for years and was very successful so back home he was quite well known. He was a good corner forward. Uh, he was the one who was scoring all the goals and the points. He's heralded back home and especially in Sneem where he's from and Kerry. They all think really highly of him, and uh, he's, he's got a statue now in, in his hometown, which is which is unbelievable, and it just shows how proud of him they are down there. Tragically, the Irishman's father passed away in 2010. Had a huge impact, um, still even to this day. You know, it's you've your you've your bad days, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to put into words, really. Um, obviously, the the lowest point in my life so far. Um, but uh, when something like that happens, you know you. You obviously go through a slump and you go through tough times, but uh, you know I'm, I'm just lucky to have him as a dad and to have learned so much from him and been so close to him. The moment they've been stealing themselves for in the Steel City. Premier League football returns to Bramall Lane. He would have been absolutely buzzing. He would have been up and down Sheffield in the Sheffield United tracksuits. And... Yeah, I probably wouldn't have wouldn't have been able to get him home. To be fair, he probably would have lived over here for the whole season, uh, coming to every game. But um, yeah, I mean, he's he's looking down on me and my family from above, and uh, the world works in mysterious ways sometimes. That just makes me think that he's looking down. When I was at Sunderland, I was a, I was young coming through, and it's obviously hard to get a chance at big clubs. And you know, I think I've, I've earned my chance now. I broke my leg, um, just turned 20. I uh, went on loan to Bradford the year that they obviously got to the cup final and uh, got promoted. So that was a setback. But, uh, you know, at the time, I suppose you think the whole world's against you and you think you don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. But just kept the head down, keep going. And, you know, I never never lost a belief in myself and always believed that, you know, I could, I could get back up the ladder and get to the Premier League. And, you know, that, that never really left me. By John Egan. Yeah, I'm, I'm relishing it. Um, I feel like I belong here, and I feel like um, I can do well. And you know, the, we've we've got a good team, and we've got good players, good manager. So you know, hopefully we can we can keep doing well. It was huge for us last year getting promoted. Uh, we were really strong at home, and you know, this year now we're going to have to take advantage of Bramall Lane because you know it's it's a fortress at times, and if we can continue to make it a fortress, um, you know, teams teams won't want to come here. Freeman taking it on inside the penalty area. It's Lundstrom and it's 1-0 to Sheffield United. A goal that means so much to so many in the Steel City. It's a roar that says it all, a Premier League win for Sheffield United. The moment they've been waiting for for 12 years. They brought me to the club last year, put a lot of faith in me. Um, you know, gave me a chance to play in play well in a good team and you know I, I think that ever since I've come come here I've got better and better and you know he's he's definitely a lot to thank for that he you know he, he believed in me at the time went out and you know spent spent a lot of money on me so um yeah to have to have that belief shown in you by someone um it was a no-brainer for me to come here and and you know I really I really believed that I you know I could do well working under the gaffer and you know we're a team that can that can play well and mix it against anyone Robinson, done well to deliver, and it's been swept in. 
and Sheffield United from 2-0 down have pulled it back to 2-2. Two -two. We want to be successful. We have goals in our heads and you keep them in-house, but, you know, I think survival has got to be the, the minimum aim. You know, I'm a, I'm a big believer in belief itself and, and I believe that we, we've got a squad really capable of doing well this season and, you know, we want to finish as high up the table as we can.